Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. In a previous video, I talked about how Gotham Knights has officially been cancelled. And everyone celebrated. The heavens opened up, angels on high sang. It was a glorious, glorious announcement when that happened because the show was god-awful garbage. It had no purpose, it had no story, it had no plot. It was just a bunch of mangled crap thrown together, hoping nobody would notice that you were trying to push crappy agendas that made absolutely no sense. You had um, um, Turner Hayes, some character that you created out of nowhere that nobody cared about. It was just a basic soy boy just wasting time. You understand me? You had the Joker's daughter, Dweller, whatever the hell her name was, who was trying to act like she was crazy and just made everybody feel sorry for her. You had the, um, you had the, I'm a bisexual uh, woman now, but I'm also a woman of, of some kind of, or some kind of ethnicity, so I have problems. You had the guy who's playing a girl who transitioned into a guy who is now a, who's now a guy, but, 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 but was a girl who was also a guy. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Then you had, um, Harvey Dent played by Sasha Cohen, who may come out this week and tell people that, you know, he's bisexual and then take it back after because he got, caught up in the moment then you had um ray swapped carrie kelly because you know we need to do that for some god awful reason and a bunch of other nitwits that nobody cared about you drag the court of owls into this crap it, it was just terrible absolutely terrible well it's been cancelled and as i Sitting in the last video, some there was some there was some clear people who are some clearly ridiculous people who have never watched it talking about how they're so heartbroken and one said that you know they hope another network picks it up. Well just to to to, to, to put that person's mind at ease, I decided to do this video to let you know that ain't gonna happen. Let's get into this article here from Bounding into Comics. Gotham Knights showrunners admit continuation is virtually impossible. Reveal Warner Brothers Discovery tried and failed to find a new home for the CW series. Because nobody wants this crap. Nobody. Literally nobody wants this crap. I mean, here we have Ray Swap Carrie Kelly. With this ridiculous goggles that have LED lights inside of it to blind her because that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, if you can just look at the just look at the ratings here for instance. Look back to it. Look at the rating. It's in the toilet. It lost more than a half of its viewership over the course of its struggling, crappy uh, um, season. You understand me? The, the demo started off at 0 0.11 and dropped all the way down to 0. 0 0.04. Nobody's watching this. Literally nobody cares. And you're shocked that this got cancelled and nobody wants it? Come on now, man. Get into this. Uh, in a blow to the show's extremely minuscule viewer base, and, and, and believe me, it's extremely, extremely minuscule. Clearly not even a million people are watching this based solely on these, on, on these ratings alone. On even a million people. Uh, following its official cancellation by the CW, the showrunners behind the widely panned Gotham Knights has revealed that there is practically no hope for a series continuation. In large part because no other network wants to pick it up. Smartest thing I've seen these people do in a long time. Nobody wants this garbage. The defeat of Gotham's all-team super team was first confirmed on June 12th when it was discovered that the series had been left out of a recent 2023-2024 programming schedule released by the network. In a particularly apt condemnation of the series' quality, Gotham Knight's cancellation was revealed prior to the series' first season finale, which is currently set to premiere 
on June 27. Don't look to the haze, another waste of time character that they invented just for this. A widely misguided attempt to establish a successor continuity to the widely popular Arrowverse, Gotham, Gotham Knight centered on, on original character Turner Hayes. Yes, because it's not like Bruce Wayne Batman has other sons to choose from. I mean, you know, there's Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, um, Tim Drake, hell, even Damian Wayne. I mean, most people don't like Damian Wayne, but hell, even Damian Wayne. But no, let's create Turner Hayes, the adopted son of Bruce Wayne. Ay, ay, ay. Finding himself framed for orchestrating the cold-blooded murder of the Dark Knight, Turner proceeds to go on the run from the Gotham PD, vowing all the while to do what he can to clear his name. It's the most ridiculous... I, I watched the first episode. It's the most ridiculous frame job you could imagine. It's like, okay, this is on a computer screen. It must be true. That's it. The police don't, the police didn't investigate. They were all corrupt. And the whole thing made no freaking sense. You're trying to tell me Batman, who spent all these years doing all these things, got killed off by a bunch of kids. Oh, Jesus. But I mean, I, I mean they're, they're not even skilled kids. They're just, they're just stupid. That's <laughs> what. A bunch of diverse whack jobs with nothing better to do. Right in service of his goal, Turner teams up with three individuals accused of having actually pulled the trigger. The Joker's daughter, Duella, waste of time. Harper Rowe, oh yes, that's the that's the bisexual uh, movement. And, and then we have Colin Rowe, who is being played by a man. Who was pretending to be a girl who's transitioned into a man so that I, I think it's, it's confusing as hell. Ah, Ultra will have some very interest in finding a real killer. It's roster rounded out by Turner's Academy classmate Stephanie Brown. Yeah, because bring spoiler into this, make her completely uninteresting, unlikable. I, I, I have a face that looks look like somebody just plastered on the government. There's no emotion on that girl's face at all. She doesn't even show it. It's like, what the hell? Do something. And a race-swapped version of Kerry Kelly, the titular team's amateur sleuthing eventually finds them drawn into the middle of and fighting to stop a larger plot against the city involving the court of Owls. Yeah, drag them into this crap. Look at these idiots. Are you expecting any of them to actually save the city? Come on. Come on. Yeah, so they put out this here talking about how it's been cancelled and it's not coming back and we were all very happy. You understand me talking about yeah, some tweets. I mean, come on. Nobody's really interested in, in any of that. It, it's done. That's, that's, that's the main point of it. It's done. There is no coming back. There is going to be no second season nothing because this entire show made no sense from start to finish why you i mean you think i'm going to get me who would sit down look at this i actually green light it i don't know but this is this is the cw they put out garbage and expect expect you to love it batwoman terrible absolutely terrible and the same people that wrote that crap were writing this what were you expecting? A second season and this come? God sakes, man. It's never going to happen. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, should you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.